Hey guys, um, my next three videos are going to be about um, three small knives that I've had in my wish list for quite some time, uh, I'd say probably about a year. Uh, it's just like other knives came up that I wanted more and this one I've been put aside. But I finally got them um, during the, the Fast Tech uh, Chinese New Year sale, so I'm kind of glad I did. So let's start with the smallest one of the bunch. So this one is the Senremu uh, 4059. It's a backlog design. Uh, I don't have many backlogs, but this one is is one that I like. Uh, very nice G10 that is textured. Like the texturing feels very nice. Uh, the only small thing that I have to complain about this knife is it came with a, a very small nick here on the on the G10. It came like this out of the box, you know, what can we do, right? It's a, it's a small, uh, cheap knife, so not worth the, has the hassle of doing anything about it. But other than that, the fit and finish on the knife are pretty much excellent, like most sand remus that I've held. Um, so, uh, as I said, the backlog design, uh, the blade can be deployed one-handed. Uh, very nice uh, hollow ground with a pretty big belly. The blade shape is very similar to what can be found on the Senrem Muse uh, 7093, no, 7063, sorry, and 9063. So basically this hollow ground with like a very big belly. Um, the knife, this knife is very small. I knew it was a small knife, but it's actually way smaller than, than I thought it would be. Uh, the blade is about like 5 centimeters in length and the whole knife when it's open it's about 12 centimeters. But despite being very small, uh, the knife is surprisingly comfortable on hand. So the first of all like the, the texturing on the G10 is very good which you know gives you a very good grip. And like I have a medium sized hand and I can f fit like fully three fingers. So a three finger grip and then you know I can you know do my work being close to the blade and uh, no jimping to be found which you know it's not a big deal especially in a knife this size but yeah uh, very very comfortable on hand actually for being such a small knife it's quite surprising like i say it's a combination of like texture of uh, of the g10 and and just like the way they, they designed the hand also the first finger goes here on this tiny choil and then the other two fit comfortably on the on the rest of the handle so if you there's a lanyard hole here, so if you put a lanyard, uh, you'll be able to have a grip for your fourth finger. Um, the the back lock, uh, it's not that stiff to disengage. It, it's actually quite acceptable, and you can actually you know close it one-handed. Some people are complaining that the knife is very stiff to open. Well, it, it's a back lock design, and yes, it's on the stiffer side, but you know it can be open. A uh, jeweled thumb stud, a uh, pocket clip uh, that is tipped down, no other position. And yeah, very nice, uh, cute small knife, very good to drop in the pocket, you know, uh, very light and actually quite useful due to the, the handle shape and the blade shape. Love this big belly. I really like the, the blade shape of the 9063 and the 7063, and this one is very, very similar. So yeah, all in all, if you're looking for a knife in the seven to eight dollar range, um, you know it, 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 it's a good buy. I got this one for, uh, from Fast Tech during their their Chinese New Year sale. Can't remember exactly how much I paid. It was like fifteen percent off. But even at seven dollars, like the the fit and finish of the knife are excellent. Okay, I have a I've been a bit unlucky. I have a small nick here, but no big deal. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll you know I'll I'll do the other two videos of the other two knives that I was talking about. Okay bye.